Hello everyone, welcome back. I have created a tracker which is useful to calculate the SLA or turn on time that is excluding business hours. Uh, so the future of this tracker says define, you can define your own working hours. It means now in this screen, if you see the working hours start from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. However, you can uh, redefine your working hours probably you can make it as 9 to 6 or uh, 8 to 5 so those changes you can make accordingly the SLA will be calculated and next one is the SLA hours now currently in the screen you see it is a uh, 2 hours but you can make it as 4 hours 6 hours or anything for that matter so SLA hours means like uh, in this case if it is two hours means like uh, if I receive the case now within next two hours you need to complete the case that is called SLA hours and then you have SLA status now in this table you can see the SLA status what what is met what is not met nine cases is met and two is not met and you also see the percentage and this is the live count as soon as you complete the case the count will be added here and you have the percentage what is met what is not met then you have the date and time using capture uh, using macro you need to manually type the start time or end time you just need to select the cell and click here for the time automatically the current date and time will be captured so this is how uh, the tracker is uh, built now let's look into the tracker for that more details here is the working hours in this case we have 10 to 6 pm now let me make the changes uh, or before making the changes let's look into the example so for row number 10 I have a case which was issued on 18 February that is on Saturday Sunday and uh, if you see the SLA received date and time it is taken on 20th February at 10 a.m. and the reason is since Saturday Sunday it is assumed that it's a weekend we are not working so SLA will not consider for the calculation hence from 18th February whatever the case is received it is showing as 20th February now working hours is defined as 10 a.m. and that is the reason you have a 10 for example now if I make the changes as 9 hours that you start the business at 9th hour you can see you can notice here it now currently it is 10 automatically it will make it it will get changed to 9 now again end time I can also make it changes as per uh, my requirement I can make it as 17 here accordingly the changes will happen now working hours is done again let's look into more cases on working hours on 13th February I received a case at uh, 18 that is 6 hours 6 hours 42 uh, minutes p.m. so since this case was received after the business hour because our business hours end at 17 that is 5 p.m. this case is considered as received on next day that is starting of business hour 9 a.m. now let me make the changes here now instead of uh, 5 p.m. if I make it as 7 p.m. here and you can notice the changes here let me do the changes here now I'm making the changes as 7 p.m. And now currently if you see the SLA received date and time is 14th February 9 a.m. If I make these changes you can see uh, this case is still considered as received on 30th February because this case was received within the business hours. So this is how the working hours is uh, captured. Uh, you can uh, predefine your working hours according to your requirement. Now let's look into the SLA hours. Now SLA hours is considered as 2 hours it means any case you received within 2 hours you need to complete. Now let's again look into few more examples here. The first example again row number 10 18th February we received and this is considered as 20th February since because of weekend and 9 o'clock is the business hours and it considered as a received date as 9 o'clock and by 11 o'clock it should become the case should be completed because from 9 to 11 is 2 hours because we also defined SL as 2 hours just in case let me make the changes here instead of 2 hours I will make it as 6 hours and you can see the changes what will happen here uh, instead of 2 I will make it 6 uh, please note here uh, 20th February 11 a.m. if I just press enter here then you can see the changes automatically happens because 
now the SLA is 6 hours if the case is received at 9 o'clock 9 from 9 to 6 hours it is 13 hours or 15 hours likewise and uh, in case if the case was received at uh, 9 uh, 642 in the second case uh, and since it has received within the business hour it has considered as SLA received date and time at the same time and uh, 14th February and the SLA completion date and time will be 14th February uh, because uh, the SLA from here it stop at 7 o'clock and from then it start from the next day from 9 a.m. and it adds whatever the remaining so that ends at uh, uh, 42 like uh, 12 hours 42 may or one close to 1 o'clock so this is how uh, you can uh, predefine you can define your SLA everything is automatic you can customize your working hours and SLA hours according to your requirement now SLA status as soon as uh, you can see the status has met not met and you have total of uh, 12 cases here sorry your total cases of 12 you can see all 12 is reflecting what is met what is not met so what is met here is like in case whatever the SLA completion date and time if you are completing the case before the SLA it will be considered as met and if you are not able to complete the case within that uh, SLA completion date and time it is considered as not met so it is again formula driven as soon as you capture the date and time automatically the SLA will be status will be uh, captured or calculated now again uh, you no need to uh, manually uh, capture the receive date and time all you need to do is you just need to select here for receive date and time I just click here automatically you see uh, the current date and time is captured and then I just you already have the formula driven here just press ctrl D to get the uh, SLA receive date and time and then you have a next case and then you can have the completed status whatever the status you want and if you have some comments you can update again for uh, SLA completion date and time you just need to select the in the cell and just click here it will capture the current date and time and then you can just press ctrl D to get the uh, status of SLA met or not met and if you notice here it was 12 now it has become 13 because uh, again you have one more case added and it is met and you can see the changes in the percentage 